way around Jess. I work for East Midlands Ambulance Service. I'm an urgent care assistant. These are our new urgent care vehicles. Um, on the new vehicles, we've actually got the new airways radios like the 999 ambulances use, and we've also got the Terrafix, which the jobs come through on. These new vehicles have actually got blue lights, um, but these vehicles, if you're on blue lights, it is only for our own safety and they will cut off at 10 miles an hour. It is just for fending off at vehicles and like I say, for our own safety. The blue lights can be activated just here. If you find the battery's flat on your vehicle, you can actually press the emergency start button. All you have to do is press and hold the emergency start button, which is just to the left of the steering wheel. You put your key in and turn it, hold it down at the same time and that will restart your vehicle. So when the vehicle's not in use, parked on station, um, you do need to plug it in at the shoreline. Simply just lift up this flap here, plug it in and the green light will come on. That'll ensure that the batteries are charging whilst the vehicle's still flat on station. Okay, so I'm now going to show you how we get the ramp down at the back of the vehicle. So this is at the rear of the vehicle. Uh, the lever just here to open this door. So just to the left of the ramp, you've got a red lever which you literally push away from you, use the handle and pull the ramp down just like that. You have actually got a suspension at the back of the vehicle and you've also got a remote control to be able to use the winch. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the side step for the ambulance. The new doors do also actually have two catchers. The first one is just here and then the second one to close the door. To open up the step you need to open down both handrails just like this and to open up the step there's a catch which you pull and then a lever and the step opens just like that. In order to then close the door you must make sure that obviously you close the step back up using the lever to pull back so that it locks in, push the handrails back up and then you can shut the door. If you don't close the handrails and the step and it will damage the door so make sure you do that okay so this is the back of the vehicle here you've got the striker chair that's docked in there uh, you've got general waste and clinical waste just here you've got your bulk head where you can put your blankets in linen storage and also that the winch is just underneath there in the back part here you've got some information on working your terrafix um, and also your defib is down there you'll also have in there the snow socks for winter if you were to get caught in the snow those go on the front two tyres of the vehicle in order to move off. This uh, little bit here just shows you exactly where your lights are. So you've got your saloon bright lights, these dim lights and the trauma lights. When you click each one of these, they will light up to show that they're on. Also in the back, we have an aircon and heater system. In order for this to work, all of the doors need to be shut and you do need to press this climate button to work. If you press that and it's clear, it's off. Press it again so it's red and it will work. On here, you can adjust the temperature to make it either cooler or warmer. You can adjust the fan of it as well. Also, you do have the fan button, which is for the extractor fan. All you need to do is press that, but in order for it to work, you do need to ensure that all of the doors are shut in the back of the vehicle. So in this part of the vehicle, in the back of the windows, you do have blinds that you can quite simply pull down and it just clicks into there, just like that. Also in the back here, your carry chair is situated just there and your spare battery for your striker stretcher is plugged in and charging just at the back. Okay, so these new vehicles, they are actually equipped with this long red panel. This is for if you're in a situation where you need CCTV to record, all you have to do is press this red panel and the system will click in. Thank you for watching, we do hope you enjoy your new vehicles.